Anthony, with the cost of uh, multiple premium prospects, does a big trade for Cease make sense for the Yankees? Well, Michelle, there's a clear need for pitching here, right? And this guy is only 28 years old, so he'll get strikeouts, two years of control left for him. Uh, you know, he didn't have the greatest year last season, but the year before sure looked good at a 2.20 ERA. Um, I'm, look, I the, feel like I should sometimes hold an intervention for all the prospect huggers out there uh, that you can part with them to get elite players to take a run at a World Series title. Uh, the, the Yankees didn't trade for Juan Soto to just kind of shine up the offense a little bit and then check out uh, of the rest of the market. So, yeah, I mean, I know the price will be, will be high, a couple of top 100 prospects. The Yankees have those, and they may, maybe, maybe they could get it done without giving up Jason Dominguez, who'd be the only one of, the top, of their top four or five prospects who I'd be hesitant to trade. So I know they spent a lot to get Soto, but I think there's still room here to make this deal if the free agent market doesn't appeal to them the way Cease does. I, I, I'm with you on the... It feels like the smart fan has, has circled too far around to being like prospects are where it's at. But prospects are capital. They are a version of capital. You can spend money or you can spend prospects. And if you are a team that is ambitious, that is all in, like Yankees fans want the Yankees to be, part of that is spending both types of capital, both money and the prospect capital you have. And specific to Cease, I mean, I was looking into sort of his durability because he's made at least 30 starts in each of the last three years, which is really exciting for a team that had a lot of pitcher injuries over the last few years. And he's actually made the most starts, 97 starts over the last three seasons, most of anyone in baseball. And if you look, that's a fairly predictive stat. Like the people who have made the most starts going, you know, every three years tend to be guys who just are durable, who are healthy, who are going to keep doing that. And you mentioned, right, he's only 28. So if he made 30 starts in three seasons leading up to age 28, he's probably going to do that in age 28, 29 season, and that's what you're getting with him as a trade. That's very interesting. Great stat there. And Keith, considering that Cease is under contract for two more years, do you think that the Mets should be more involved? Like, does that make more sense in your mind? I, I wouldn't say go right after Dylan Cease if you're the Mets because you're going to have to give up, like you said, a lot of that prospect capital that we're talking about. And certainly I love to hug a prospect from time to time, <laughs> Anthony. That's why we come up for the minor leagues. Every big start in the big leagues was once a minor league prospect. You don't just want to give that away. Well, I will say about Dylan Cease, if the Mets can get Dylan Cease for position player prospects that the Mets have, I think the Mets have a lot of great pitching prospects that they want to put on display this year. Those would probably be off limits. But Cease, you have him for two more years. You could potentially sweeten the deal and sign him to a, a long-term extension because he might be here for the two years. It could be potentially see what you have. He might like it with what the Mets have moving forward, and you can maybe ink him for something long-term.